Hi, welcome to Learning Boost. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about estimation and how you can practice this at home. When we estimate, we make a good guess and we do this a lot with counting in primary one. So we might look at a group of objects and we've got to make a good guess about how many we think there are before we get the chance to count them. With my little ones, I like to think about, is there more than 10 or less than 10 to help them narrow down their guess? And you're gonna use this with the task that I'm gonna show you. This is something you can do really easily at home and we like to do it with different objects in school as well. So for this game, you'll need a cup or a container of some sort and um, something counting objects. Usually I would use counters or cubes in school, but because I'm at home, I've got pasta pieces. Make sure there's no more than 20 and talk about this with your child so that when they're coming to do their guesses or their, estimate, their estimates, they don't go above 20. They know that the number must be between zero and 20. First things first, you're gonna pop all the things into the cup. Now, quite good fun the children might want to write this down or talk about what what they think is going to come out give it a shake pour some out quickly they've got to guess how many without counting so they might say five or six again you want to tune them back into that is it more than 10 or is it less than 10 and that will help them with their estimate when they've got their estimate now they might have wrote this down or they might have told you this ask them to touch count how many there actually are if they get a match they might win a point and that's a good way of keeping them interested uh, and i know that the primary ones in my class definitely enjoy this you can take turns of playing this and the children really enjoy it you might want to take it a step further in that if you have say colored counters you might put 10 red 10 blue in and then get them to guess how many of each color you'll notice when you pour them out if you have four red and four blue when they start to count them up they should start to notice maybe some doubles four and four uh, or you might get three red and two blue count them up again thinking about addition and linking it with other things that they've been learning about too i hope you enjoy this as much as my primary ones do and we'll see you next time